Welcome back to Everyday Arrays. Today I'm going to be installing my cylinder head on my engine block. But before I do that, I'm going to need to measure clearance between my pistons and the cylinder head. So this uh, clearance is called squish. It is very important to have correct squish. If it's too tight, the piston is going to hit the cylinder head and you're going to have engine problems. If the clearance is too wide, uh, the engine is not going to perform as good. So uh, the squish clearance depends on a lot of things, such as So <clears throat> the way I'm going to measure the piston clearance is I'm going to use a piece of solder. I already put one right here on this piston. And uh, I'm going to install my cylinder head. And then I'm going to rotate the engine. So the piston goes down and then it goes up. As it'll go up, it'll uh, squish the solder. Then I'll remove the cylinder head and I'll measure exactly by how much or what, what the thickness of the solder after, uh, after that. That will tell me uh, clearance. If the clearance is too tight, I have four different hag gaskets <clears throat> that have four different thicknesses. And this is how I'm going to set my squish. I'm going for uh, roughly 0.7 millimeter squish. So if the solder thickness after the test is thinner, then I'm going to use a thicker head gasket. If the solder is thicker, then the clearance that I'm looking for that I'm going to install a thinner head gasket. So let's go ahead and get it started. For that I'm going to install a head gasket. Then I'm going to spin the engine so the piston uh, isn't at the top dead center like it's right now. See now the piston is lower or below top dead center. So now I can install the cylinder head. Next, I'm going to install the washers and the nuts on the studs.
Well, next I'm going to use a torque wrench to torque them down. Alright, so now the cylinder head is torqued down. Now I'm going to spin the crankshaft. I'm going to need two hands for that. Okay, now I can uh, now I can remove the cylinder head and measure the clearance. Next I'm going to remove the head gasket. Now I can see there's some squish area that I can measure. So let's go ahead and pull it out. And you can sort of see now there's a you can see uh, the piston and the cylinder head squished or flattened the solder. So now I can use a micrometer to measure the clearance. And it's right at point, point 0.72. So that's, that's as close as it's going to get. So I'm pretty happy. Now I'm just going to get this silicone off the piston and uh, install the cylinder head on the engine block for good.